Well, howdy, Internet. Since we last spoke, it's been too wet and too muddy and too rainy to be able to do anything. We didn't harvest it all yesterday. You can see here the yard is a mess. Everything is muddy, everything is slimy. Uh, we're caught up with the dryer. Uh, so right now we're actually transferring corn out of the big bin there behind the dryer that we've been going into and we're pulling the center out because the center is where the, the fines we call them tend to fall and it gets hard to push air through them. So we're, we're coring the bin, we're taking the center out and we're transferring it to a different bin in the back. That way we move that grain and get better airflow on the corn that's stored in there. So we're going to move some of that, transfer that corn for about an hour and uh, even though it's muddy, the fields are pretty muddy, we're getting a little bit nervous about how this harvest season and how this fall could go. So we're going to move up to the lake, the lake, we're going to move up to the field we call Pocket Lake and we're going to go up there and we're going to do some harvesting because I think the stalks are going to be dry, the ears are going to be dry. So we're going to be fighting a little bit of mud on the tires, but other than that, we're going to go do some combining. <laughs> The dryer's caught up and it's all shut down. Now I'm just waiting for one of those guys to get back with the truck so I can put it in the wet tank, fire up the dryer again, and then we'll be back in business. Five to four, what's the mud looking like up there? Well, we probably shouldn't open up the field the other night. Wherever there's corn standing, it's actually pretty decent. You know, it's a lot firmer, but wherever we combine, we pack the field and the water isn't soaking in at all. Um, so I think we're gonna be okay. I think we'll probably go take that 30 or 40 acres that's kind of on the other side of the driveway first. 10 4, I got the uh, wet bin empty and I got the white truck ready to go. Okay, yeah, we've got two empty trucks here yet. It's going to be still going for a little while. We're actually taking that two acre piece out, now the corner piece. 10 4. All right, we got two loads in there now. Time to start up our dryer here and get things moving. good back to the field round and round until not everything looks good we can stop when we get to the end please. I'm gonna go drive combine I think I'm full. I think I'm full. Son of a gun.
light burned out on the end of that auger. If we get some rain here in the next couple of days like we're supposed to, we're going to pull this thing into the shop and put a brand new LED light on the end of that auger right there so that I don't have to rely on this little dinky light. It's fun harvesting at night, that's for sure. hills. uneventful day uneventful night which is good we're gonna park the machines and uh, get back at it in the morning it sounds like we got some rain coming tomorrow night they're talking like uh, two inches of rain over the course of uh, probably three days so it may or may not shut us down all week next week hopefully we don't get that much we definitely don't need it you can see we're definitely muddy out here so that's all we got for today thanks for watching guys Thank <laughs> you.